Well, Papa Pepper here with another one of the Wildman's Wild Friends. This happens to be uh, an eastern cottontail. I actually uh, caught it barehanded in one of my gardens this morning. Um, it's been hanging out there for a while, and I usually when I walk in, it goes running out. But this time it got caught up, and uh, I was able to pounce on it and grab it. Now this is one of the most common rabbits in North America. They live across the southeastern United States, pretty much the whole area there, down into Mexico, a little bit into South America, um, a little bit up into Canada too. And this one's young. I think it would have been from the first first litter that its mother had this year. Um, they can actually have three or four litters in a year, and one mom can make you know over 30 babies on a yearly basis. So that's why you're going to see a lot of these around some places. Usually to uh, kind of make a nest for their babies, they'll make a little recessed hole somewhere and uh, cover it with their fur and some other things and have the babies tucked away in there. You'll see them a lot of times by the edges of woods, um, fields, a lot of times you'll see them in gardens, stuff like that. That's where uh, we've been seeing a lot of them lately. And uh, when they're actually born too, they'll have a little white spot on their forehead. Oh. But obviously as they get bigger, they grow out of that. So these guys will eat a large variety of different uh, plants. They'll nibble on the branches and twigs. They'll eat the buds and the fruits, the flowers and the leaves. You'll pretty much always see them around nibbling on something. I think it's neat to see them like a snip off, like a dandelion mid-stem, and then nibble it all the way up to the flower and eat it like that. But uh, these are some of the wild ones around here. We've got pet ones around here too. Actually, there was a uh, place in Madison, Wisconsin once where somebody had a Dutch dwarf, the black and white rabbits, and it got out and bred with the native population. And apparently the uh, Dutch dwarf had the uh, dominant genes. So you had a whole neighborhood where there were little half-breed rabbits, half wild, half Dutch dwarf, but they all looked like a bunch of pets. They were all black and white. and uh, It's quite a seed, uh, sight to behold. So, Just another one of my wild friends. They're not all um, you know, reptiles and amphibians around here. Um, we got nice mammals too, and these guys, you know, hawks, owls will eat them, bigger snakes will eat them, um, coyotes, other stuff like that too. So, all right, pop out.